So how is the folder able to do this? Um, let's quickly see. Yeah, let me just take this off again. Sorry. If you're thinking about a low pass filter, how did you do low pass filter in the past? So let's quickly see. If you have something like a waveform and you want a low pass filter, normally what you do do is you with a capacitor you might slow that down from the next one. So your your output waveform is going to look more than this than that. Let me just redo it again. So we understand that we get the operation completely. Let me just get my pen working. There we go. So let's see. You've got a high frequency. You want to make it low frequency. Uh, put it for a low pass filter. So with a capacitor, the charge and discharge. Still remember this. This is what's going to happen. So we get a lower frequency because that part is now deleted. Still remember this from low pass frequency. So mathematically, how can you do this? If you look at that high frequency again, in software sometimes you would take the average. You would add a few values together and get the average. Um, if you look at this structure, there is a delay. So if you know how long your delay is, you can say, take this point and take that point, because remember, this point is actually a delay of that point. There's a time delay. So if you store this value and you store that value and you say add them together, you're going to get a bigger value of the two and you won't add this value to it. So what's going to happen is you're just going to add these values, just the, the, that point. You just add them together on a delay. So you just add them together on a delay. If you plan your delay smart enough, your answer here is going to be a low pass filter. If you add maybe this one and this one, this one and this one, this one and this one, then if you add them all together, you're going to get a type of an average thing. Does it make sense? You see? So that's what you can do here. Yeah. If you want a high pass filter, what you need to do is you, you just delay it so that you just add points together or you add stuff that will that will make your output more the higher frequency you amplify those points more just by planning your delay so this is in theory what happens in a full zero in a, a um, iir filter you can plan stuff according to this to make add certain points of the delay multiply them with bigger values so that you can either make a low pass filter just add points together to get the low pass filter or do the opposite to get a high pass filter just to focus on the ones you amplify the ones that is of importance to make it a high pass filter it's quite cool